Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the import feature of On One Photo Raw. So you've finished a shoot, you've got a memory card full of photos. Uh, On One's got a built-in like download assistant to help you get your photos off your memory card and onto your computer. So let's take a look at it. You can see here over on the left-hand side in Browse, I have this untitled memory card that's installed in uh, my machine here. And if I select it, I can see the photos. But I'm gonna go up to File and Import. And what On One will do is it will look at every photo that's on this memory card. So everything that I've shot from uh, <laughs> probably several months, if I haven't deleted my card, is all going to show up in here. So what does this import do for us? Well, we have across the top, we can choose a source. And by default, it will select whatever memory card you have installed. And you can also choose something else, choose a different folder. You can choose to eject it when it's done. Of course, selecting all of your image, all or none, and you can select or deselect individual photos as you wish. But what I really want to draw your attention to is the right-hand side of this dialog. I'm going to take advantage of these various panels, and I want you to set up an import preset so you get all of your photos started off on the right foot into your workflow. So on the right-hand side, you can, of course, select a destination. So when you've selected your images that are on your memory card, where on your computer are they going to be copied? And there are some other options in here if you want to have a backup, you want to have them go into multiple folders. I tend to just choose the folder I want them to go into. You can set up a different naming scheme. So if you want to rename your photos and you have either the current name, you can build that into your name. You can have arbitrary text, a sequence number, as well as dates. And so you can add multiple different things here. So you can add the name of the file, some sort of text, maybe describing the shoot, you know, a date for when the photo was taken, all those types of things you can build in. Add metadata. Now this is really what I want you to do. I want you to set this up right now in this import area. Put in your name as the author, right? You're the person who made the photo. You put in your copyright information, right? And also expand this more area. There are many other things here. I want you to go into the contact area, put in your email address, put in your website, way down at the bottom, put in usage terms, like if you're doing you know, all rights reserved, or if you're going to do Creative Commons, whatever it might be, put that information in here, as well as some type of contact information for your copyright. So put in your website. If you've got a website, if you don't have a website, you know, throw your email address in there, something that will associate your photo with you. When you've got all those pieces in just this metadata area, come up to the presets area and then save it as a new preset. This is a metadata preset that can contain all of your copyright and contact information. So if anyone finds your photo, wants to reach out to you, to use it, to talk about it, they've got a way to connect you with the photo. Remaining options that we have here is we can assign photo settings. So if you'd like to apply a preset during the copy of your photo, we can do that here. And you can also edit the capture date. Sometimes if you're shooting in a different time zone, you forgot to change the time zone of your camera, you can adjust the capture date while you're bringing the photos onto your main system. And finally, we can click import, and that will copy all of the selected photos from your memory card to the location. If you told it to be renamed, it will rename it. It will apply metadata, photo settings, all the things that you've set up on this right-hand side. And so all the photos can come into your library, your set of folders in the way that you want them to be and be uh, tagged appropriately. So it's got your contact information in it. The last thing I wanna show you in the import window is an import preset. Now what that is, it's a collection of all the different settings you've made on the right-hand side. So the next time you come into the import window, you can choose an import preset and you know, streamline your, your workflow here. Now when I set these up, I like to just do that with renaming and with metadata. Now earlier we set up a metadata preset, right? So we're gonna pick that one. You've got all your contact information. And for renaming, whatever your scheme is for naming your photo files, Go ahead and set that up. And once you've got those two things dialed in, down toward the bottom, we have this little pull up here. And go ahead and save that as a new preset. You know, I'll just call it my import preset. I've saved that. The next time I open the import window, I can just select that 
import preset, and it will be selected for you by default if you haven't changed anything. And then I can do final tweaks, such as the destination where I'm going to copy the image. That tends to change from shoot to shoot, but other things, my contact information and my file naming scheme, those don't change. So I'll set those up as a preset and make sure each one of my photos enters my workflow on the right foot. Hope you found this useful. My name is Scott Davenport. Thanks for watching.